Hello, Marilyn, Elizabeth, Emerson, Hazel, Francisco, Vidal, uh, Mario, and Jose. Thank you so much for being on time. How are you doing today? How's everything? Good evening. Good evening. How's everything? How's your day? Did you have a good day at work? A little tired, but um, I am good. Excellent. You're tired, but the important thing is that you're good. And then maybe we'll have, or you will have time to recover maybe on weekend. We are in the middle of the week, so weekend is coming. And the rest of you, how are you? How was your day? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? I'm doing well. Nice to hear that you're doing well. How was the traffic today? It's That's... always. Yeah. Hey, yes, always. Maybe. Yes. Huh. Well, let's hope that someday it gets solved somehow. <laughs> Okay. Well, uh, we were checking out today in the platform. Remember that you have to be completing the exercises. Um, you need to go ahead with this. And I see and that as maybe five have started working in the platform. But so yesterday, basically, we finished the, the um, section number one. So we will go over the exercises on the platform corresponding to the same section. I'm going to share a screen with you. And if it is possible for you to solve the exercises with us, you can go ahead and do it. Um, so you can uh, complete at least section number one should be completed and start working in section number two. But let's check section number one. Oh my God, it's going to rain heavy here. Excuse me, teacher. Uh, about that, I have uh, any issues with the part one and one dot five about the platform. Mm -hmm. It's that one dot five. Let's see. Okay, so the question is, I see that in this, you have to organize the sentences. Is it correct? Yes, that's right. Okay. Yes, I see that part. So all of them are are giving you some issues or any specific sentence? All of them. All of them, wow. Okay, let's see. We're going to check that. Allow me one moment. It is still loading, it's quite slow. And the rest of you, is there any specific exercise that is giving you a hard time to solve them? Let me know. Same issue with the same exercise. Same exercise? Yes. Okay, so we're going to start from there and then we're going to go backward. Mm. Okay, if this is stuck, what's going on? It is going to rain heavy here, so I hope to to teach like a regular without uh, any inconvenience, but let's hope so. Can you see my screen now? Yes, I can. 
Okay, is this, this is the exercise number one, that's five. Okay. And here you are supposed to um, organize the sentences as you see here. Let me see, order the words to create sentences. Let's try the first one. The manager would rather ask the creative team to design a relaunch of the product. And it has a period at the end of the sentence. Did you do it that way? Or no? I'm going to try. Okay, I'm going to send you the sentence on the meeting chat. I know it's a lot of words. <laughs> the manager would rather ask the creative team to design a relaunch of the product, period. Yes. Let me know if it works for you. That's correct, teacher. Okay. Try the number two. Sell or product money distribution at a lower price would rather much. Sí. Um, me pregunta Marilyn, no se las agarra. Ahorita les compartí la primera, Marilyn. Ahorita les comparto nuevamente la primera. Y este ya lo habíamos hecho anteriormente, lo hicimos en el, en el librito, en su manual. Déjenme ver para mandarles las respuestas. Se las voy a mandar todas, este ejercicio ya lo habíamos hecho. Y a veces es mejor copiar y pegar. Aquí está la número dos. Many distributors would much rather sell our product at a lower price. Y la número tres sería esta. They would rather withdraw the product than introduce it in new market. And then the number three. The number four. Many companies would rather operate as an option. Okay, this number five. Sending number five. Okay. And I'm going to copy them here too, just for let me know if it works for you. Yes, las envía ahí en el meeting chat. You can uh, copy and paste like this. And that should be correct. Mm -hmm.
Thank you, teacher. Everything is okay. Okay, excellent. Thank you so much for confirming that the answers were successfully came in your platform. Okay, uh, then we have the next one. Well, the, this is the first exercise. We did it, I think, in the first class. Remember the answer for number one? We said it is maturity. For number two, market introduction. For number three, the answer was decline. For number four, growth. And the, yes, we did it in the first class and then we have the next exercise. Uh, it's vocabulary review. So for number one, a particular trait or characteristic. Is it appeal, differentiate, withdraw, feature or demand? What do you think? Uh, it's feature. Feature, uh-huh. Sounds like yes. To be able to tell a part. Different here. Okay. Number three, attractiveness that interests or pleases or stimulates. Appeal. Appeal. Mm -hmm. Consumers desire an ability to purchase a good or service. Demand. Mm -hmm. Okay. Remove or take away something from a particular place or position. Withdraw. Wait, okay, let's check your answer. And yes, all of them were correct. Excellent job. So let's review. If you are, if you need more time or you think you're behind, let me know so I can stop or get it slowly. Number one, teacher. Number two, differentiate number three appeal number four demand and finally the number five answer is withdraw and uh, this is the one that we already complete that does the sentences we were working on the beginning and then we have this one uh this is about quantifiers it's the last topic that we studied so let's see what are the correct options
there aren't very books in the library. Do you have the number one, right? What do you think? There are very many books in the library. Very many? Yes. Let's try. Number two. I found a few. I've had a few. A few headaches already because of the stress. Okay. Number three, John had money with him, so he couldn't even buy a bus ticket. John had a little money with him. A little money? A little. Okay. Number four, people can live without money. We simple, simply need it. Few, few people. No. Five. Few. Few. Few people come little. Okay. And the last one. What do you have? How much do we have? Okay. And the answer, 20 out of 20, correct. Excellent. Okay, according to this, all your answers were correct. So excellent with the quantifiers. Remember, if you're still working, it's number one, many. Number two, a few. Number three, little. Number four, you, and number five, much. And the last exercise for this section is read the following meaning and match them to the correct word. And we also studied this yesterday, so let's try. 
a marketing strategy that utilizes multiple brand names on a good or service as part of a strategic alliance. Go branding. Go branding, okay. Number two, things that do not cost much. Lower price. Lower prices. Breaking off an interruption, temporary or permanent. Discontinuation. Discontinuation. A new idea, creative thoughts. Innovation. Innovation. And the last one. The process of packaging goods again or differently. Re repackaging. Repackaging. Okay, repackaging. Let's send your answers. Excellent. Thank you so much for your participation. You did a great job with the vocabulary part. Let's review the answers. Number one co-branding, number two, lower prices, number three, discontinuation, number four, innovation, number five, repackaging. So remember to, if you were not able to complete the exercises in this moment, you can do it later, but yes, you need to have section number one complete and start working section number two. Um, so we're going to start with uh, today's, well, we did this part, the platform review, then section number one. So we're going to start section number two. The name of the unit is marketing. Our competencies for this unit is identify the main elements of a marketing mix of our renowned national product or service, analyze the component of the product and price strategies of the famous national product or service, recognize the components of the place and promotion strategies of famous national products or service, and design a basic marketing plan for a product or service. Within the vocabulary, we will study terms related to the four P's of a marketing mix. Example, product, price, place, promotion, personal sales, sales promotion, etc. Product and price strategies, uh, for example, quality design, packaging, after sales services, product positioning, market share, and profitability. Uh, in the grammar part, we'll be studying adverbs, the adverb enough to modify adjectives. As I told you in the previous module, just don't pay too much attention to the grammatical name because it sounds um more scary than it is in fact. <laughs> uh, for example, packaging must be attractive enough to get buyer's attention. Enough as a determiner for a noun, for example, there are not enough promotional items associated to our product. Uh, for a video, there is one video in the material that we cannot play them a, on sections online because of the um for the rights okay so that's we're not going to play it but you can do it whenever you have the chance an article about promotion strategies and the marketing mix marketing mix are placed in 4p and for writing we're going to be writing a basic marketing plan do anybody here work in the marketing area
Nobody? Marketing, no. sales. No? No, teacher. No, it's totally different. Okay. Anyway, we're going to be studying the vocabulary and also learning. And remember that also we, we do a match. We study the material, your student's book, and then we um, we do extra activities with um, practicing new vocabulary and uh, vocabulary that can help us in a, in a real life setting. Um, Okay. Okay. So the first uh, exercise that we have in unit number two is the, the this conversation that we see here. It is on page seventeen. And in this unit, as we mentioned before, we will be able to identify the main elements of marketing mix or a uh, renowned national product or service. Uh, we have this conversation. It says, Diana is applying for a position in the marketing department. Read an excerpt from the interview and take turns practicing the conversation. Okay, this is like a job interview. We have Tim, uh, which is going to be the interviewing, I guess, the interviewer, and Diana, who is applying for a position in the marketing department, as we read before. So um, I'm going to start reading the conversation since we do not have audience for this. Okay, let's start with the most important part of an interview. Here is the first question. What are the key elements that warranty the success of a marketing mix? I think you have to target your market. That is, you must define who you are selling to and you need to figure out what they want. If you don't do this, your business will inevitably fail. But that's right. Target your market and be sure to understand the four piece. Now, second question. How would you define the marketing mix? Well, to put it plainly, the marketing mix is about putting the right product in the right place and time with the right promotion and the right price. To do this well, you need to know every aspect of your business plan. Do we have any question? Volunteers to role play, has there no questions? Me, teacher. Thank you, Magdiel. And me. Thank you, Alexandra. You can start, Magdiel. Alexandra is going to help with the second part. Okay. Okay. Let's, let's start with the most important part of the interview. Here's the first question. What are the key elements that guarantee the success of the marketing mix? I think you have to target your market. That is, that is. You must define who are who you are selling to, and you need to figure out what they want. If you don't do this, your business will inevitably inevitably fail. That's right. Target your market and be sure to understand. And the four PS. Now, second question: How would how would you define the marketing mix? 
Well, you put it plainly. The marketing mix is about putting the right product in the right place and time with the right promotion and at the right price. To do this well, you need to know every, every aspect of your business plan. Would you like to switch roles? Yes, please. Okay, now uh, Alexandra start. Okay, let's start with the most important part of the interview. Here's the first question. What are the key elements that warranty the success of the marketing mix? I think you have to target your market. That is, you must define who, who you are selling to and you need to figure out what they want. If you don't do this, your business will nobility, nobility file. That's right. Target your market and be sure to understand the four piece. Now, second question. How will you define the marketing mix? Well, well, to put in Pliny, Pliny, the marketing mix is about putting putting the right production in the right place in time with the right promotion and the and at the right price. To do this well, you need to know every aspect of your business plan. Excellent. Thank you so much, Martiel and Alexandra. You did a very good job with pronunciation. And yes, Alexandra is very fluent. Your speaking is, was nice. And also, Martiel, thank you. You have improved a lot. Thank you so much for your participation. Do we have two more volunteers? I hear Emerson and I couldn't see what's the other person. Elizabeth? Okay. Elizabeth and Emerson. You can start, Emerson. Okay. Let's start with the most important part of the interview. Here's the first question. What are the key elements that guarantee the success of the marketing mix? I think you have to target your market. That's it. You must define who are you, who you are selling to and you need to figure out what they want. If you don't this, your business will inevitably fail. That's right. Target your market and be sure to understand the full piece. Now, second question. How would you define the marketing mix? Well, to put it plainly, the marketing mix is about putting the right product in the right place in time with the right promotion and um, I can read the last line. Hey, teacher, can you scroll up the... You gonna switch? I can read the, the last line. Uh-huh. Oh. Um, let me... If I click escape, now, can you see the complete slide? Yes, thank you. And at the right price, to do this well, you need to know every aspect of your business plan. Okay, now let us switch roles. Wait. Okay. <laughs> okay. Let's start with the most important part of the interview. Here's the first question. What are the key elements that guarantee the success of the marketing mix? I think you have to target your market. That is, you must define who you are selling to and you need to figure out what they want. If you don't do this, your business will inevitably fail. That's right. Target your market and be sure to understand the four PS. Now, second question. 
How will you define the marketing mix? Well, to put it plainly, the marketing mix is about putting the right product in the right place and time with the right promotion and at the right price. To do this well, you need to know every aspect of your business plan. Okay, nice job. You did a very nice job with the pronunciation. You're really good. I know that there are a couple of words here that are quite difficult, like for example, plainly, that sounds, it's, it's not like very calm and also inevit inevitably, inevitably, <laughs> yes, it's like a tongue twister, but you did an excellent job. Thank you so much for your participation. Uh, Yes, Magdalena, it just started to rain and here I see it's coming. <laughs> but fortunately, um, we, my internet, yes, it is still working fine. I hope it continues like this the rest of the class. Um, do we have two more volunteers or we move with the next slide? No more volunteers? Okay. So let us move. Next thing is discuss the answer to the question below. What does target your market mean? What do you think? What does each of the four P's stand for? How would you describe the term marketing mix? Let's work answering the three questions and then let me know when you're ready to share your answer. You can write your answers on your notebook or if you have printed the material, you can do it from there.
finish Hello, teacher. The number one could be. Huh? Could be defined like uh, who you are, who you are selling to. Excellent. That is means target your market is to have clear who you are selling your product to or your services. Yes. Very good. And the number two, mm -hmm. uh, for piece, it's production, price, promotion, uh, sorry, production, place, okay. promotion, and price. Uh huh, correct. Excellent. Product, product, promotion, price, and Say another one. Promotion. Right A promotion. Yes, excellent. Now, do you have the number three too? How would you describe uh, the, the term marketing mix? Number three, it's about to apply the four P's. Yes, it's applying the four P's. Excellent. Thank you so much, Magiel. I imagine that the rest of you have similar answers. Uh, yes, your answers were correct, Matiel. Thank you so much for sharing. Uh, I'm going to stop the screen sharing for a little while since we have to check attendance for the first time tonight. So uh, remember to say present when you hear your name. Abigail Elizabeth Flores Hernandez. Alex Enrique Lemus Guzmán. Carlos Emilio Coto Dueña. Thank you, Carlos. Tessia Noemí Ramos Rivas. Thank you, Alex. I see that you wrote on the chat. Cecia, is she here or not? She's not. Um, Elizabeth Stephanie Vasquez Ramirez. Present. Thank you, Elizabeth. Emerson Alexander Lopez Lopez. Emerson Alexander Lopez Lopez. Francisco Ernesto Acuña Rivera. Present teacher. Thank you, Francisco. Gertrudis Aymara Baquerano Mejia. Guadalupe Alexandra Calixto Martinez. Present teacher. Thank you, Guadalupe. Hazel Vanessa Menjiva Rodriguez. Present teacher. Thank you. Jose Enrique Pineda Tobar. Present teacher. Thank you. Julissa Yamilet Vialta Villalta.
Carla Ivania Naya Ancheta. Present teacher. Thank you. Luis Javier Castillo. Magdiel Esaú García Morales. Present teacher. Thank you. Manuel Alexander Vázquez Rafael Ano. Present teacher. Thank you. Marilyn Alejandra Grande Pérez. Present. Thank you. Mario Ernesto Ramírez López. Present. Thank you, Mario. Melanie Alexandra Martínez Santos. Present. Thank you. Víctor Noé Bonilla Portillo. Thank you. Vidal Byron Ruiz Ortiz. Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, teacher. Mm -hmm. uh, I apologize. Apologies because uh, right now I'm uh, doing phone, uh, working from home and I was in a call right now. So that's why I didn't hear my name. So present. Okay. Thank you so much for confirming. William Alexander Rosales Ayala. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Okay. We are done with attendance and the first check-in. So I'm going to continue sharing. I, okay, Elizabeth, uh, thank you so much. Elizabeth Hernandez. Okay. Thank you for writing, Elizabeth. I'm updating here now. Okay. I'll continue sharing the screen. And here you see the vocabulary in the building vocabulary part. You can see the four keys, as Magdiel said in the previous exercise. They stand for product, price, place, and promotion. The marketing mix can be divided into four groups, it says, of a variables commonly known as the four P's. Product, price, place, and distribution. The promotion match the four P's to their description and check your answers. Number one, it's product, two, price, three, place, and four, promotion. Here are the concepts. And in the other side, we have the definitions. So let us match the concept with the definitions, and then we're going to check. Ready, teacher. Okay. Can you hear your answers? What is the definition for product? Uh, the definition uh, of product is the merchandise or service offered by a company to its customers. Thank you so much. That is correct. Excellent. Number two, price. Price is the amount of money paid by customers to purchase the product. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Place? 
And play is the activities that make the product available to customers. Mm -hmm. Excellent. And number four, promotion. Promotion, the activities that communi communicate the product's features and benefits that help pursue, um, persuade, it's okay. Pers mm -hmm. Persuade. Persuade so customers to purchase the product. Excellent. That's correct. Thank you so much for sharing. Uh, so I hope that the rest of you have the same. It's a, uh, yes, Guadalupe Alexandra. Yes, you have the same answers. It's correct. Thank you so much for sharing. And as you see here, we have um, the marketing mix. And this is a line, as you can see here, uh, it is divided into promotion, um, in which we can see this uh, sales promotion, uh, advertising, public relation, and direct marketing are activities uh, related to promotion. Now, related to product, we have the features, quality, branding, packaging, services, and warranty. Then the next P, place. Uh, related to this, we have the channels, market coverage, assortment, location, inventory and transport, price, the price strategy, pricing, allowances, discount, and payment terms. This is just for us to, to have a better idea of what is involved in every single P. We have uh, another uh, chart here that's going to help us with the marketing mix. Who wants to read the product? Nobody wants to read what is related to product? Me, teacher. Thank you. Okay, product. Variety, colors and size, quality, design and brand, packaging and features, warranties, exchange and support service, and convenience of use, handling and delivery. Excellent. Thank you so much. What about price? I volunteer to read about price. Uh, me teacher. Thank you. Uh, price list, price list, discounts given, there and means for payment, criteria, uh, criteria in grading credit cost versus benefit compared to the market. Excellent. Thank you so much for reading, Manuel. Place, volunteer to read. Me too. Thank you, Alex. Okay. Physical and uh, uh, online channels for service. Business rich area. Location of stocks. Distribution and transport of goods. Differentiation of local competitors. Competitors, excellent. Thank you so much, Alex. Uh, last one, please. Let's read what is related to the place, the last P of the marketing mix. Volunteer? Me, teacher. Thank you, Viran. Uh, place. Visual identify of product in categories. Production of online content. Press office. This disclosure. Advert, disclosure advertising. Customer advertising. attraction. Mm -hmm. Customer attraction and targeting. The the four, what is the pronunciation? Uh, and the, uh, which one? 
Number four. Yes. <coughs> advertising. Ah, advertising. Mm -hmm. uh, disclosure advertising. Disclosure advertising. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. So, as you see, there is a lot of things uh, involved and this is going to help us, uh, the previous exercise, to have a better idea on how to or where to classify the words that you have here in this exercise. This is on your material on page 18. And let's see, a volunteer to read the instructions for exercise five. Now volunteer? Okay, I will read. Each of the four pieces has its own tools to contribute to the marketing mix. So you see in the previous slide, we were reading the, the tools for every single P. So it's going to be easy for you to complete this exercise. Um, the following words have to do with these tools, classify them into the right piece. Here we have the piece, product, price, place, and promotion. We have to classify these tools into the correct uh, P. We have design, personal selling, discount, packaging, retail location, payment plans, public relation, credit terms, advertising, inventory, brand name, and transportation. I'll give you time for you to complete this exercise. It is on page 18 of your uh, manual. So you can work here on your page 18. And if you want to do it in your notebook, that's fine. If you want to do it in your PDF, you just need to click here in the letter T to add the text here. For example, let's see design. What do you think is it's a tool of a product price based on promotion? Product. Product. Okay, so you go right here. Design. Design. And then you continue classifying them into the correct piece. Let me know when it's ready.
Have you finished? Yes. Do you want to share screen or you have it in your notebook? Would you like to share your answers? Yes. And it, okay. Okay, in product, uh, I wrote design, packaging, and brand name. Okay, that's good. Excellent. What about price? Um, in price, discount, payment plans, and credit terms. Excellent. That's correct. Now, place? Place, retail location, inventory, and transportation. Fantastic. Awesome. And finally, promotion? In promotion, personal selling, public relations, and ad advertising. 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 Sounds great. Excellent. Very well done. Thank you so much for sharing your answers. They are correct. Um. Okay. Um. Now, if this is a group activity in the number six. We are going to go to the breakout rooms and in groups, we're going to choose a renowned national product or service. It can be a product or a service. You choose one of them and you have to identify the product services elements that correspond to the four piece of their marketing strategies. Okay, you can, uh, you can just re, uh, write on your notebook or if you want to share a document or a, a PowerPoint presentation in the class, it's it's up, it's up to you. It's, um, let's make that group. Uh, do you have any question before I create the breakout room? No questions? So let's think about a product or a service and let's talk about the, how do they, um, oh my God, this stuff during the presentation. Here you have some uh, aspects of the fourth piece that can help you to guide you in the presentation that you will create about a product or a service that you select. So let me create the breakout room. And what do you think? Uh, hi, Manuel. Good morning. Okay. Sorry. Francisco, Jose, Enrique, Manuel, Marilyn. Yes. Can you, uh, 
are you just a listener or will you be able to work in group now? Um, well, I think uh, they are listeners. Uh, Marilyn Groves. Okay. Okay. Okay, Marilyn, I need just a couple of minutes and we will be able to share ideas with you for the presentation. Okay, let's wait. Okay, um, some product, uh, we can choose uh, something like a uh, food. Yes. Yes, it can be food. It can be also um, service. Okay, um, can be, I think can be a uh, box from Toto. <laughs> Toto is a big uh, company. Uh, the photos. Sí. The yes, backpacks, sorry. Backpacks, yes, backpacks. Uh, lunch. Uh, yes. Uh, yes, it can be uh, Toto's. It's a very good brand. I think it's quite expensive, but it's a really good uh, quality product. Okay. I, I think it the price works the quality. <laughs> okay. Um, Francisco, um, some, mm, how can classify, for example, in the product? In the first speed product, you can talk about yes, that if you decide to talk about totals, that's okay. Um, how do they advertise the product? Do they use the social media or? Because I, I'm not into social media. I, I, I don't I don't have any uh, Facebook account or Instagram. Uh, so I don't know. I just I, I just know that maybe once or twice a year they have a big sale with nice discounts. I, I don't remember the name of the mm, the I I remember, I recall that some year, a couple of years ago, it's just Toto Loco, I think. <laughs> mm, Toto Loco, I don't remember exactly. Counts. Mm. Creo que así le decían a, a una venta anual que tenían unos buenos descuentos. Pero es lo único que recuerdo de su advertising. <laughs> Promotion. Mm. Or I remember... Uh, maybe five years ago, uh, Toto make a, a big uh, package, I, a big bolsón. A big backpack. Yes, in Metro Centro, then someone uh, give all people uh, a, ¿cómo se le dice a los a los, ay, mi español, no sé cómo se dice, a los pequeños papelitos que dan con información. Flyers. Ah, flyers, ajá. Se ponía una persona con un bolsón gigante a dar flyers. Eso oh, me, ok. Me <risa> <risa> uh -huh. Ok, Marilyn es ready. Ok, ok, ¿qué es que íbamos a hacer? Disculpe. Eh, ahorita hemos elegido a los bolsones de Toto y vamos a clasificar las cuatro. 
it's a little spicy, I think. <laughs> Maybe it could be. That's so After the eat, you have to say. Oh, if I have a some stomachache or pain in the, in the stomach. Yes, but but after the eat, you have to say that price the price. Oh well. The ah, price. Yeah. The price. <laughs> ah, the phrase. <laughs> the phrase. Yeah, you <laughs> mean yeah, after it, it's bite. I had to say, mm, yeah. <laughs> Pika Rico. That's right. <laughs> Bad publicity that works. Yeah, that's right. And so in that case, Teacher, are... we are we are talking about the, the this product uh about the the yeah the chicharras <laughs> say it teacher say it okay <laughs> no me van a demandar por derecho de la ch chicharra <laughs> okay so you're talking about la chonguenga <laughs> that's right Okay, so that is the, the, the product that you selected. Okay. And you're discussing the the four um the four P elements of the Chongenga. Yes, teacher. Okay, what about product of, of, of the product? I think that maybe just they improve a little bit the packaging, but not oh, much. Yes, uh, uh -huh. the product, uh, the packaging of the product. And the brand name. Mm -hmm. Okay, so for the packaging, it's uh, it's just uh, like a plastic bag and, and, and it has uh, like a pig, right? It's a... Uh, it's, it's very simple. It, it's very simple. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh huh. It's a very cheap product. I think it's like a yes. for el dollar. Very <laughs> <laughs> simple. Have you ever tried it? <laughs> no, I haven't yet. But I I I have seen too many uh TikToks of this product and the lady who promotes it and uh, that somehow I'm, I'm not a fan of the junk food I, I, I'm, I don't really like junk food or that kind of, of, of snacks but it's it's mean to too much about this product that yes I would like to try it but I don't but I haven't had the chance <laughs> I don't know where do they sell them, <laughs> but yes. So that is a bad publicity that works. Yeah, it has effect on 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 people. Yes, it's it's um it's successful. Now it is yeah. very famous uh, the uh, product. So I think that nobody has heard about it before. This lady um, was hired, and now everybody knows the that product, and many people wants to try it. So I see um, uh, a couple of months ago that one Salvadorian lady that lives in the United States, and she has a a Latin store. So. It she uh she bought a box of of those products to sell them in in her store. So it has uh it has a big impact that publicity for that product. So yes, the packaging is very simple. Um, 
the quality of the product or the features that can be also um, related to the product P. Yes, but uh, also the product is, is very simple, but mm -hmm. it's, it's uh, famous. Uh huh. Now, um, the price. Uh, a cheaper product is very cheap, is affordable, is cheap, is affordable. Yes, yeah, the most of the people can pay. Yes, most of the people can um, buy that uh, place. Maybe they must improve the retail location or transportation, I don't know, but I haven't had the opportunity to taste it. Okay. The places that they are selling the product because uh, we don't know how to work go to buy it. Mm-hmm. They should work more on uh, letting people know where to buy it, probably because, uh, so you don't know where to buy it. I don't know where to buy it. <laughs> so many people do not know where to buy it. So I, I think that they need to work more on that uh, area. Maybe only with the distributor within the, headquarters or the maybe I don't know I, I don't know exactly where to buy it maybe the stores have to put some I don't know advertisement to be uh we sell chongenga uh yes probably in some convenience stores mm -hmm. In outdoor market, probably. Uh huh. Okay. So you're ready to share with the class? Are you finished, or you will continue discussing about the product? Uh, maybe we are going to continue talking about the product. Okay, sure. Thank you, teacher. We almost ready, uh, teacher. Okay, good. María Guadalupe, yo creo que ya, este, al menos lo, lo de lo, las locaciones ya, ya estuvo. 
Y Fran, ¿tú cómo vas? Ah, ya vi. Ahí estoy compartiendo. Uh -huh. Ah, está bien, sí. Justo eso, solo falta agregar los, los productos. Um, oh, exacto. Ahora oh, bien. Ah, sí. Eh. Sí, perdón. Pues, eh, voy a enviarte ahí algo. Bye. Me dices. Solo lo voy a guardar. Okay, we're back again. I could realize that only room one and two were able to work on the assignment. So let us uh, listen to room number one. It was uh, Daniel Ernesto, Francisco Acuña, Guadalupe, Jose Enrique, Manuel, Marilyn, and Melanie. Uh, okay, uh, we start with, well, we choose the backpacks from Toto, and we start with um, product. Uh, 
what product uh, the company made. Francisco. Moment, one moment. Okay, este. Hell, we do with Terry Gerald of experience in design and manufacture of backpacks, clothing, and accessories. We are company doing every step you take, a step that leads you to your goal place, a wall in the pack or Perhaps that first day of school will be being there for your first days of school and your first job we have been by your side in your adventure, try and event. Some matter where you go or what you do. With every step you take, you count on us and backpass, launch, accessory, and ropa, como se dice, it means clothes or clothing clothes. items. Okay. Clothing items. Ahí se escribe en el chat. Clothing items. Ok. Eso fue lo último que no, no lo pudimos agregar. Porque esa fue una pequeña reseña de, de la empresa. Ajá. And they also sell, uh, they also produce um, uh, those accessories. Accessories. Yes, harness for dogs. Mm -hmm. Good, continue. Uh, okay, in the second P is price um, with Jose. Jose? Yeah. Are you ready? Yes. Uh, about the price, I think uh, the backpack or the accessories uh, they sell, uh, it's a very expensive, but the quality is excellent and it's worth it. Uh, they have uh, uh, many different discounts on the website. Um, for example, 30% uh, off, 30% uh, uh, off and mid-year sales for for day um, uh, they have uh, many uh, payment methods um, for example uh, cash uh, credit card and debit card uh, and also uh, have the option on the paid uh, in uh, in the installment uh, also for only one in the website um, okay and the third P place with Marilyn okay you can find our store in the shopping center where there are many items you can choose for you and your family. We are also located in accessible areas for your convenience. We have stores in more than 57 countries and we have more than 600 branches around the world. And finally, a promotion. Um, Toto's use of personal selling and promotion on social media, for example, um, five years ago, 
Toto had some persons out of their stores with a big backpacks, bring everyone passing a flyer with discounts. And in 222, Toto bring a promotion called Toto Loco in social media that gives discounts on their web and stores. Thank you. Fantastic, awesome. Very well done. And yes, you included the, all the aspect, the poor piece. So congratulations, you did it excellent. Now let's listen to the second group. Thanks. You're welcome. Let's see the second group. It was, it was Victor, Vidal, Mario, Alex, Elizabeth, Emerson, and Magdiel. Hello, teacher. Hello. Uh, we are talking about a simple product, but um, it's now for many people in this country. Uh, is the Chongenga. Also, the, the, it's a simple product. The package of it is, is very simple too. The price is the products is, is cheap. Two two per dollar, two per one dollar. Um, my coworkers, sorry, my my classmate asked me more opinions about that. Yeah, yes. Well, oh, sorry. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, yeah. For my for my opinion from this product, it's uh, well, uh, maybe everybody know about this kind of product, but this company that made the chum gangam, uh, uh, take all these separate products and package into one one single package, you know, because it's like a, a mix from this kind of kind of snacks. And it's a, a simple bag. And I think, uh, well, from, 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 from me, I didn't uh, taste it, but I only know that only has the, the name of the product, Changenga, as well. And we're talking for the distribution about this because there's no uh, a store or market which is selling it. it it's a, uh, you only have to go to the to downtown, I think, to get this the, this product. I think that the company should, should uh, fix this issue, the distribution of this product. I don't know. From my classmates. And for advertising? Well, we think that uh, maybe the advertising and um, public relations is one of the strengths of the product and maybe one of the weakness it could be uh, as my partner said that um, there is uh, there is not too many places uh, where you can you can uh, find it um, so the advertising it has been good um, even the most of the people just has heard about the product on social networks 
Uh, yes, mainly the social media. They hired a, a famous TikToker, I guess, or yes, she or YouTuber. She has also a YouTube channel, I know, and she's a very famous lady, hardworking, and yes, it 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 works. The publicity, some some of us might say it's bad, but it works. <laughs> Everybody wants to try that chongenga, I guess, but another recipes. <laughs> so thank you. I love all the products you selected, chongenga, and well, that's fine. And other the other group talk about Toto, and yes, so they are very well known um, products here in El Salvador. And you discuss all the act aspects of the four piece. Um, well, now you know the vocabulary of what are the four Ps, what is involved here. Remember that you have to work um, or start working on the section two of the platform. Complete also the section number one. And if you need any help, you can um, send a message through the WhatsApp group. Just let us know what is the number of the exercise that you need assistance with. And your classmates or me, we are going to be um, happy to help you whenever you need it. Uh, do you have any question before we finish today's section? No questions? No. Yeah, okay. It is um, time to finish then today's section. Thank you so much for your participation. I hope that you have a nice rest and see you tomorrow. Thank you. See you tomorrow. You. See you tomorrow, teacher. Have a good night. Sleep well. Bye-bye.